Good morning. It is time for the Pioneer Update. This is Megan Renahan with the Batesville School District. The Pioneer Update is brought to you by Citizens Bank. They're people first, which is great because we're students first. This morning, I have the lovely Jennifer Rogers. She's a home visitor at our hub location, which is the Pioneer Parent Resource Center. Good morning, Jennifer. Good morning, Megan. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Uh, you have recently obtained a very, very awesome certification. So why don't you tell us a little bit about that? I just obtained a certification through Arkansas Children's Hospital. I'm now a nationally certified child passenger safety technician. So what that means is I'm certified to come look at your car seats and to help families and make sure their their car seat or booster seats installed correctly in their vehicle and their child's properly buckled in. That is wonderful. Not only for us as a school district, but also the community. Obviously, childhood safety is something that we take very seriously and putting students first every day. So this just kind of adds another tool to our tool belt. And of course, to yours. Um, tell us a little bit while you're passionate about that. I have three children. I have three daughters. And so my, my passion for children really came from that. So after I became a mom, I knew I wanted to work with early childhood. I want to work with children, but I've really found a love for working with families through my job at Baseball School District as a home visitor. Through working with families and being a mom and being passionate about early childhood, there's a lot of things that come with that, and one of those is being safety. So I've always been passionate about car seat safety, and so whenever I learned about this opportunity to get certified through this training, I thought I have got to do that. So tell us a little bit about, you know, what does that training entail? Like, what did you have to do to to get this certification? I first learned about this training um, through my, my model that I work with is Save the Children. Um, and so we have to go to state meetings and things like that every once in a while. And so at the, the last one that we did, we had a lady there named Lisa Payne, who's with the Arkansas Children's Hospital, that let us know that this opportunity was coming up and that Arkansas Children's Hospital had a grant to pay for anybody that wanted to get certified in this. And so it was a four-day training. She told us it would be four days in Little Rock at the end of October. And so I thought, oh, I'm very interested in that. And so I came back to my office and I talked to my supervisor, Lori McClure, about that and asked her, you know, what her thoughts are. And of course, she was on board immediately because, again, this is just something that's needed in the community. And so I thought, I can really help my families with this. And then it, you know, snowballed into, you can help, you know, everybody. So I went to this four-day training. It was very intensive. We covered a lot of material because there's a whole world of about car seats and, and booster seats that I didn't know about. And so we covered all this material in the first three days. Um, during those three days, we were doing exams and tests and quizzes over what we, what we learned. But then we also had to practice hands-on at stations. So part of the exams were actually practicing installing. So we installed car seats and booster seats and all kinds in different types of vehicles. And I was very sore at the end of the training. <laughs> and wet too, right? And wet too, <laughs> because the last day was like our final exam. We had to do a community community event and so what that looked like it was two hours in the pouring down rain but lots of families came by we were checking their car seats installing their car seats fitting their children into the car seats to make sure their harnesses and straps were where they're supposed to be and then we replaced a ton of car seats for families too because you know some of the car seats weren't appropriate for that child's size or the car seats were expired or you know something like that and so it was very intensive but it was great. It's got to make you feel good knowing that everyone that came there was needing help and they not only drove away in a safe via, a safe car seat for their child but with more knowledge. You equip them with knowledge so that whether they get a different car seat because that child outgrows that or if um, you know they're moving it between you know like emergency contact and grandparents they'll know how to install that the next time correctly. Yes, so that's one of the big things is I'm not here to just install the car seat for you. I'm here to install your child's car seat or booster seat with you. So it's very hands-on with the family. If we want to educate the best that we can, I want families to be able to install that car seat correctly every time, no matter what vehicle they're going to be driving in. So you're saying that it's the difference and you copy in someone's homework and then you actually learn in the content? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. so we want people to be good students. Correct. Yes. yes. We want them to be good students. And, you know, when you when you know better, you do better. That's the end goal is, you know, making sure that the children are safe. After doing this training, looking back at my older kids and I'm 
just want to apologize to them for doing things wrong. <laughs> one of the things that I found very interesting is you said you learned a lot that you didn't know. So what was one of the unique things that you learned during your training? One of the things that I learned that I thought, oh, well, that's really neat is um, so the car seat manufacturers or the booster seat manufacturers and the actual car manufacturers work together to make sure that the car seat is going to be installed safely in the car. Car seats have manuals and your car actually has a car manual. There is information listed in both that's going to tell you how to work that car seat and car together. Well, and what's so interesting about that is I ha don't have children yet. So that's not something that I've thought about. So I'm just like being a sponge right now, you know. So to parents that maybe already have kids and there's two cars in the household. So those might need to be installed differently depending upon what vehicle that parent is driving. Yes, absolutely. So in your car's manual, it's actually going to tell you where the safest place is for your child. Just because in car one, got your child placed, for example, behind the passenger seat. Well, in car two, they may tell you the safest place for your child's in the center mm -hmm. of the back seat. It's really important to know that that knowledge is there and that resource is there to help you keep your child safe. So I know you've got some great ideas about how you can implement this certification and obviously down in the hub and as home visitors, y'all hold monthly events and some of those might be, you know, breastfeeding basics, safety baby showers, financial literacy. So what do you have planned? Because I know you're really excited to put this certification to good use. Part of keeping my certification up is having to do community events, which is something that Baseball School District is great at doing that anyway. And so we're just going to combine those two. But we have Reading on the River that happens in the spring. And then we have Amigo Fest that happens in September, which is also National Child Passenger Safety Month. And so definitely we're going to utilize those two events to host a car seat event. What you can expect at those events is we'll collaborate with Arkansas Children's Hospital. They'll bring a trailer full of car seats and booster seats down and we will have, you know, our families drive through. Their child, you know, will need to be present, but we'll, you know, properly fit that child into their seat. And then the seat, you know, we'll make sure that it's installed in the car correctly. And then Arkansas Children's will actually replace families' car seats if it's not appropriate for the child, expired, broken, or whatever the case may be. Awesome. And what I love about that is it's a judgment-free space that parents can come, receive help, support, knowledge, and then make sure that their child obviously drives away in a new car seat at no cost to the parent. Because sometimes we don't ever want our parents to have to make the decision between keeping the lights on or buying a new car seat. And one of the things I didn't even know that was wrong, I've got several friends that have kids and they're like, oh, when you and your husband have kids, we're just going to give you the car seat. And I'm thinking, heck yeah, that's like a $220 car seat. I can't wait to get to use that because that's obviously, you know, a top of the line car seat. So what do you have to say about, you know, comparing maybe a more affordable car seat to the top of the line? So when we do these events, like you said, this is absolutely free. It'll be no cost to the families. Our, you know, end goal is just to make sure that they drive off in a, in a safe seat for their child and that they'll be safe on the road. You know, a lot of parents ask, what is the best car seat or the best booster seat for my child? Like what's going to keep them the safest? And honestly, there's no difference in a $30 car seat or a $200 car seat if it's not properly. So I always say it's, it's really just whatever the parent can install correctly every time. Mm -hmm. That's the best car seat for, for them and their child. Yeah. So, and with that, we don't ever want parents to think that by getting a cheaper car seat that it's not safe. Exactly. That it's not what's best for their child because having that knowledge is what's going to keep their child safe. Exactly. And these car seats, they're all designed and crash tested to do one thing. And that is, you know, there is a, a an accident that your child's going to be safe. So whether it's $30 or 500 it's designed to do the same thing. So it's November and it's a little bit chilly outside now, especially in the mornings and stuff. One of the most common things that we see is mommy and dad, grandma trying to bundle kids up so they can make sure that they're warm and comfortable because they want to make sure that they're not cold. But that can interfere with the safety of the car seat, right? Yes. So, you know, we all want to make sure that our kids are safe and not cold. And, and so a lot of parents think, well, I'll just wrap them up in a jacket or a 
blanket. But car seats and booster seats, those harnesses and seat belts are crash tested with, you know, like kids just wearing their street clothing. So whenever you're bundling them layers and, and jackets and coats and blankets, and you're actually creating too much space between the child and the harness or the seat belt. And so what that looks like is if there was an accident, your child can actually still slip out, you know, result in injury or death. Best practice then, what would you recommend? So if I've got a little one and it's cold outside, what should we be doing to ensure that they're warm but also safe. So what I always tell parents is you want to, you know, buckle your child in as you normally would in their street clothes. But if you want to, you know, have a jacket and throw it over them, like after they're harnessed in, put a little blanket over them. Of course, if they're infants, we don't want anything covering their face because that's a risk of suffocation. You know, your toddler is still cold. There's, you know, as long as their face is exposed, you can still just wrap a blanket around the, the front of the car seat or the booster seat. That's wonderful information outside of car seats which I'll give away frequently here at our hub location as well as booster seats and then obviously we've got a certified person on staff to install those you do an annual safety baby shower tell us about what that entails we host a safety baby shower every summer at the hub which is the pioneer parent resource center during the the safety baby shower we educate medicines we educate on car seat safety we educate on proofing the house and you know making sure that they can't you know the child can't hurt themselves and at these baby showers we give away pack and plays we give away car seats booster seats play mats we give away first aid kits sleep sacks we also give away diapers one of the things that I love about this is a lot of times the families that we serve, they might be low socioeconomical or on a demographic status to where they might not have the means or the family might not have the means to throw them a baby shower. So this is just kind of like a really sweet and sentimental way to empower those mamas and those families to have the resources they need knowledge wise. And then they're going to walk away with having some gifts like a, a regular baby shower, just like any other mom deserves. Yes. First and foremost, we especially if they're first time mom, you know, we want to give them knowledge because knowledge is empowerment. When you know better, you do better. We really just want to educate moms on car seat safety, on making sure the medicine cabinets and, and the cleaners are, you know, locked away where a baby can't get into. But, you know, we also want moms to feel special and prepared. And so that's why we give them the first aid kits and we give them the little boppy pillows or connect them with resources if they're, you know, want to do the breastfeeding. So we'll, our community partners come in with that too and we just try to give them all the resources. I think what is so great about the home visiting program that we have at the hub is y'all have a relationship with these families and through the knowledge that y'all are able to share with them they build confidence in themselves which means that they get to be a better mom for those children. And a lot of times they need that emotional support because they might not be receiving that from their family, you know. So I just think what y'all do is so vital to not only that baby's health and their strength within the home, but also giving that mom a support system because if mom is at her best, that means that baby's going to get the best help and support and, and grow up in a, a loving and thriving household as well. Absolutely, and that's one thing. I always say is I love working for Batesville School District because you don't see this everywhere. You know, I work in a, you know, progressive school district which means, you know, the motto here is students first, but really it's families first because we get these pregnant moms, we get them prenatally, and then hopefully we get to follow these children all the way up to 18 years old whenever they graduate high school. I knew Lori would be on board with going to Little Rock and get the certification for child passenger safety. That's our ultimate goal that we want for all of our Batesville School District families and just the Batesville community in general. You know, we want to keep keep children safe. Yeah, so if someone is listening right now and they're questioning, is my car seat installed safely or maybe I should make sure that my emergency contact knows how to install that safely what do they need to do all you'll need to do if you have questions if you want to bring you know your emergency contacts grandparents or whoever you can call the hub and ask for Jennifer Rogers you can book an appointment with me and we'll get your car seat checked out and what is that number that they need to call it is 870-793-0627 my extension is 5054 y'all be sure 
her and give Jennifer a call. She is certified. She's excited to help. She's passionate about it. And this is a judgment-free zone. Knowledge is power. And so that's why we want to make sure that people have the opportunity to learn from her because safety is our number one goal and getting that state mortality rate down. That's not something that we're proud of as a state, but we are trying to make a difference from a local perspective. And we're very, very proud of you and excited. You're such an asset to our team. And we thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you so much, Megan. Awesome. All right. As we like to say, it's a great day to be a pioneer.